Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today we'll solve a problem, a very simple problem dealing with a simple average. The problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. It says a firm has six employees. We are told that two of them get a salary of $10,000 each. One person gets $16,000 salary. We are further told that three more people get $18,000 each. It's a straightforward question. It's a two-part question, part A and part B. We'll do part B in a second. First part simply says, what is the average? Well, let's find out, shall we? Now, as I said, everybody knows how to do average. Obviously, you add up the figures and divide by number of uh, number of figures, number of people. That's a straightforward method, traditional method, orthodox method, classical method. There is nothing wrong with it. If that's what you want to do, here's another way. Well, let's let's list let's list all the figures. We have two people with ten thousand dollars each. So we have two people. Let's say ten, ten. One person gets sixteen thousand. Three people get eighteen thousand. Eighteen, eighteen, and eighteen. To me, I see eighteen, eighteen. I say sixteen. That to me, the average is going to be around sixteen. That's what it looks like to me. We have no way of knowing it. You understand? Let's pretend the average is indeed 16 and see what happens. If average is 16, then this guy already has 16. This person has two more. We can take away two dollars from him. This person has two dollars more. We can take away two dollars from him. And if you take away two dollars from him, plus means he has a surplus too. If you take away two dollars from him, and if you like, let's take away two dollars from him. If you take away two dollars from him, two dollars from him, and two dollars from him, now he is 16, he is 16, he is 16. They are all 16. We have 2 plus 2 plus 2. We have $6 left over. Let's give it to this guy. And he is 16. But the problem is, this guy is still 10. This guy is still 10. We need to make him 16 as well. We have $6 short. What this tells us is that we have $6 short. That's, your way of, that's, your, that's our way of uh, knowing that 16 was too high. Since we are exactly $6 short and we have 6 people, each person should have $1 less than we, we assume it had. The average here is 15. And if you like, you can do it out very quickly. And again, let's redo it here. 10, 10, 16, 18, 18, and 18. This guy has three dollars more, this guy has three dollars more, this guy has three dollars more, this guy has one dollar more. We have ten dollars altogether. This should have been minuses again. Take away one dollar from him, take away three from him, three from him, three from him, three, 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 and one. We have we have taken away ten dollars. What are we gonna do with that ten dollars? We're going to give it to five dollars to this guy, five dollars to this guy, voila, everybody has fifteen dollars now and therefore the average is exactly fifteen. Let's do part B. Let's do part B. We need the room for the part B. You just have to look at the figure and sort of estimate where do you suppose the average might fall and try. And if it doesn't work, if it doesn't work out, don't cry, just try a different number. Let's do part B. In part B we are told a new guy is hired. Part B says uh, new guy is hired with a salary with a salary of the salary of twenty thousand dollars question is approximately approximately and that's a very important word here you know, whenever they use the word approximately when they go out of their way to use the word approximately there's there's their way of saying don't spend too much time doing the exact calculation, it's not necessary. Among the five answer choices, you're going to pick the one that comes closest to what you do with an approximation and that's your answer. Approximately, what is, approximately what is the new average? Approximately, what is the new average? Now we understand it's a continuation of this problem. Assumption here, assumption here is that we already know that the average of these six people is 15. So let's add one more one more guy here. I'm going to rewrite the figures. So we had two with ten, two with ten thousand, two of them with ten thousand. We had one guy with sixteen thousand. We had three people with eighteen thousand. Three people with eighteen thousand. And a new guy is hired with a sal salary of twenty thousand. Salary of twenty thousand. This is a new guy. But we already know that the average of these six people from the previous work, we know the average here, the average is 
15k, we already know it. We already know that the previous average was 16. 20 here, the new guy, 20 here, 20, 20 is 5 more than, 5 more than the previous average. Question is, what are we going to do with that extra $5,000? That extra $5,000 that this guy has, has to be distributed among all the people. And now, instead of six people, when we hire a new guy, we have seven people. This $5,000 needs to be distributed among seven people. 5,000, 5,000 divided by seven is approximately the same as 4,900 divided by seven, which indeed is 700. There you go, we are done. The new average, the new average, it's approximately what the old average was, which was 5,000 plus the increase of $700. The average goes up by $700. The new average is $5,700. You want to do one more? Let's do one more, shall we? This otherwise the video is going to be too short. Let's give. Let's do one more. The problem is the next problem I have too much to write there. It's a very long problem and I was planning to do it in the next video so that I can write it ahead of time. But you're going to have to put up with it if we're going to do it right now. It says for the past several days, this is problem number two, for the past several days, The average average daily production average daily production at a factory has been seventy units. But they don't tell us for uh, for how many pass days because that's the whole point. We're gonna have to figure out how many pass days. So, so for the past several days, we don't know how many days, the average daily production at the factory has been 70 units. Today, I'm going to change the marker. This marker is run on, running on our ink. That marker was about to die. That marker was moribund. It was about to die. For those of you who are, who are working on your vocabulary, vocabulary skills, I know we have done this word many, many times because I use this word every single time the mark, when the mark is about to die. Day number 71. What does moribund mean? Moribund means about to die. It has no life left in it. Day number 71, just type in vocabulary words, day 71. It says, today, this is the next sentence, today the factory produces, the factory produces, 115 units and as a result and as a result the average shot up to 75 units I should have done it in the next video this is too much writing as I said the average shot up to 75 units. How many days? How many days was the average 70? How many days was the average 70? I'm going to read one more time. Again, you could do it in a classical way. There is nothing wrong with doing it classical way, but we'll, we'll, we'll do it a little bit differently. So here's the problem one more time. I'm going to read it to you. It says for the past several days the average daily production at a factory has been 70 units. So we're going to pretend 70 units for several days. Past several days, 70, 70, 70, past several days. We don't know how many days. For the past several days it has been 70 units. Today, today what happened today? Today the factory produces 115 units. And as a result, we are told, and as a result, the average shot up, the average went up to 75 units. The question is, if that, is, if that were to be true, 
as a result of having produced 115 units today we found out that our average for the last several days whatever it was 70 units is shot up by five units how many past how, how many days was the average 70 in the past well, it's very simple very easy it's 70 every day in the past few days let's pretend it is 70 today let's pretend it is 70 today we have 45 units left over what can we possibly do with the 45 units? Well, that 45 units has to be distributed among, far, among these days so that everything is now 75. That's going to be 9 days, or if you like, 9 days. But if you're going to do it this way, you're going to have to understand that 9 days includes today. If you don't want to go this route, then make today 75. Pretend that today's unit, had, had today's unit, has the today's production is 75, we would have had a 40 left over. Question is, what are we going to do with this 40 extra units? How many days can we distribute or in the past so that every day, see when they tell you that for the past several days the average production at the factory has been 70 units, right here, we have 40 units left over, we want all of this to be 75. Well, how many possible days can we go in the past to make to, so that we are able to make every one of them 40, uh, 75? It's just 45 divided by 5. 45 divided by 5. 8 days. For well, 8 days, for the eight days in the past, the average production well, it was 70 units. For eight days in the past, the average production was 70 units. Today we produce 115 units. As a result, because we had 40 left over, the average shot up to 75. Now, if you want to do it algebraically, we can do it algebraically on the top. Algebra is not that bad, but if you want to, so if for, for the past several days, we don't know how many days, for the past several days, the average was 70. Let's pretend it was 10 days. If it's 10 days, then the total production over the n days was 70 times n. Today we produce 115 units. And as a result, we are told the average, the new average is 75. So if you divide by the number of days, which is n days in the past, n today, don't forget n plus 1, which is why this is the 1, this is the n, and that's the plus 1, which is today. And as a result, the new average is 75. All we have to do is solve this equation and that's it. And you will see that you will find 8. So if you, if, if you simplify it, we get 115. Cross multiply, we get 75 n plus 75. Subtract 5 n from both sides. So 70 n from both sides, we get 5 n equals 175 minus 175, 115 minus 75. Which is exactly what we have here. 5 n equals this, which is why we divided by 5 n equals 8. n equals 8. For the last 8 days, for the last 8 days, the average was 70 units. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. We are done with this one. Let's do one more. The average of five numbers, we are told, is 15. One number is removed. One number is removed. As a result, as a result, we are told that the average of the remaining four numbers drops to 13. What was the value of the number removed? Which number was removed if if we find out that average used to be average used to be 15, but now all of a sudden the average is 13. Well, what are we going to do? We have five numbers we are told whose average is 15, but we don't know what those numbers are. So what do we do? Well, we make up our number numbers. The simplest, the easiest, the quickest, the most economical way of making up five numbers, which average is exactly 15, is to pretend they are all 15. Let's start with five numbers. They are all 15. One, two, three, four, 
and 5. There is, this is the guaranteed way of having 5 numbers whose average is 15. Because they are all 15. We are going to remove one number. Let's remove this guy. We are going to remove this guy. And as a result, the new average of the remaining 4 drops down to 13. We have to take away from 2 from this guy, so it's 13. We have to take away 2 from this guy. We have to take away 2 from this guy. Take away 2 from this guy. They are all 13s now. And if they are all 13, they are, of course, the average is 13. We have to take away 8. We have to take away this guy because we are removing it. And we have to take away 8 more. We have to take away 8 more. Voila, there you go. The number removed is 23. The number removed is 23. We are done. Again, if you like, we can do it with the algebra. Algebra, again, is that not that bad. Algebra is not that bad. Let's do it on the top. But this is another way of looking at it. This is more intuitive instead of algebraic way. Algebraic way is more, it's more classical, more orthodox, more traditional, more geeky, more nerdy, more academic way. So we had five numbers before and we are told that the average was 15. So that's their sum. That is sum. We removed one number. Let's call it x. This is the one we removed. And now we are left with four numbers. And as a result, the new average is 13. This is the equation we have to solve. As I said, there is nothing to it. And we get five, 15 times 5, which is 75, minus x is 13 times 4. But uh, 13 times 2 is 26. Double of 26 is 52. And therefore, x is equal to 75 minus 52. 75 minus 52, 5 minus 2 is 3. And 7 minus, there we go, 23. Voila. The number removed was 23. This is the only way of looking at it. You don't have to do all this work, you understand? Just remove the number, just remove one number, and then ask yourself, how can I make the new average 13? Well, again, the simplest way of making sure that the new average is 13 is to make all of them 13. Remove two from here, 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 and here. We have to, since we remove eight points, we have to, that's what we are removing. We are removing eight points, and we are removing the last number. This is what we are removing, 23. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.